everybody, Mike Skeen here. It's Sebring Race Week, about to head down to Florida, um, but wanted to look back first and show you a little bit of a footage from our Sebring test right after Daytona. Obviously at Daytona, we had a great event, led the most laps in GTD, but suffered a wheel bearing failure Sunday morning right after sunup. Um, then, like I said, two weeks later, went down to Sebring, had a great test. I uh, wanted to show you some footage from there, get you ready to go for the 12 hour this weekend. Let me know what you think. Give me some feedback, like, subscribe, and all that stuff. Um, and I'll try to implement any suggestions you got. Thanks. We are at Sebring International Raceway. You can hear some race cars in the background. Uh, we're here for the IMSA Series official test. All the WeatherTech classes represented. A couple of Michelin Pilot Series cars here. Uh, we're about to head out for a practice session here, uh, see how we go, and uh, try to learn some things for the 12-hour next month.
going really well. We've done one practice. Uh, we were P1, um, which is obviously good, but you know it's early days. I think everybody else is still sorting things out. Uh, we had a little bit of an issue with the ABS sensor, wheel speed sensor left over from Daytona that we just couldn't quite sort out without getting it on track. Uh, the guys sorted through that. The car was really good handling-wise straight away. So happy there. Um, we got two more sessions a day, one night practice, and then we all day tomorrow. So lots of time left to tinker with the car. Of course, the track changed um, with different conditions, but so far so good. at the trailer after night practice end of day one we've had three sessions today like five or six hours of track time something like that uh, we've been p1 in each of the three sessions car feels amazing right off the trailer it was really fast uh, really no big problems uh, we're ending the session a little early um, car feels good we've got a good read on it in the night so we're gonna move on string it up make sure everything's good for tomorrow to set down and um, see where we are in the daylight again um, with the, some of the small changes we've made just want to make sure we're transitioning between you know daylight and nighttime well with a good balance but overall super happy uh, I think we're, we've got a good start for next uh, month when we get back for the 12 hour.